Hi everyone, how's everyone doing in this cold weather? It's freezing outside, we have ice everywhere. Um, welcome to my channel, my name is Tina. So today, finally, I get a minute to um, show you my haul from the Dollar Tree from US. It's a small US uh, haul because it's mainly um, fairy garden stuff and my Canadian Dollar Tree haul. And um, yeah, I've been busy doing a little bit of crafting um, with so many doctor's appointments and so forth. I didn't have time to do anything this year for Valentine's, but I've been making these little rosettes and look at these, so cute. And they're, they turned out so cute. And I will have a video on how I make my rosettes. Um, soon um i'm i've been also um playing around making these little burlap bags so if you want to see how i make them leave me a comment down below and i'll make a video also i've been playing around with some of my doilies and this is what i made Again, if you want to see a video on how i make these um i know valentine's is over soon but uh yeah if you want to see let me know in the comment section down below and um let me get into my haul i'm gonna start with the food items um the first thing i saw it was new um these Pillsbury brownies and i usually make my own brownies from scratch but sometimes you know life gets busy so when you know you have company coming um they had a bunch of new um, taco and chili seasoning. There was the clubhouse, and this is 25% uh, salt, less salt. So I grabbed a few to just try. Usually, again, I make my own seasoning, but uh, they also had Mrs. Dash, which is salt-free. So the taco seasoning and the chili so I just grabbed it to have in my kitchen cupboard, just in case, you know. Um, this was new, the Hawaiian wood fire barbecue. It sounded so good. So I am dying to try this on my chicken or steaks or even fish. So I grabbed it for the clubhouse brand. This is an awesome, awesome price. Um, I also, I love this sauce. Um, usually get the less salt, but they didn't have it. Grabbed a couple of these. Yeah, I love this with my chicken. And they had uh, different flavors of these harvest snaps. Um, there was one with tomato basil, I believe, but my husband doesn't like anything tomato, so I grabbed these for him. This is the habanero, and it's black bean. And this one sounded interesting, mango chili lime. Mm, maybe I should steal this. Yeah, so um, I'd rather him eating these than chips, which he's bad for that. And the last food item I grabbed was this um, tapioca. Uh, my eldest daughter, she's vegan, and I'm learning all about how I can change things to accommodate her when she comes over. So, and it's gluten free. So I, you know, and it, again, Clubhouse, it's a big bag. So I grabbed it. Okay. Um, I don't need more nails because Don um, gave me so many nails, but I absolutely love this design. I had it on two weeks ago, lasted me a week and a half. So I grabbed another pack or two of this design. And uh, this was new. Um, I makeup remover from Wet n Wild. Usually I take my makeup off with uh, coconut oil, but uh, sometimes you get the stubborn mascara that doesn't come off. So, and it's a good, it's a brand name. So I try, I thought I'd give it a try. They had a bunch of um, 
these um, bath bombs and um, I got the unicorn the mermaid tail and they they like they have different colors they also had the pineapple which I gifted it so I grabbed those and I got two of these hanging planters that they have um, not to use it for the hanging or the planter I'm just gonna do my sprouts in here or my microgreens um, yeah um, if you want to see how I might I make my sprouts uh, at home let me know down below as well so I'll do a video on that so I got that for that reason and I am running out of space this is a repurchase this smells so good i have it in my linen closet um and i got one to put in my sock drawer and yeah it smells so good bamboo you get two pouches i don't know how to say sachet um i got this to use for something i knew i had something in my mind i think it has to do with cheese making maybe I don't know okay I know I got these two baskets for cheese making I don't know I'm gonna try because um, I need something that has holes in the bottom of course I'm gonna put cheese cloth a couple of layers but um, yeah I got these for that purpose and one of these measuring cups some batteries um, some matches uh, because I live in a rural area so uh, I'm always afraid when there is a bad storm like today it's so cold and windy I grab six of these just to have on hand it's just a plain no scent and um, sorry I'm bending down I grab a couple of these again to have on hand for to light up the candles and I got this basket again it's got holes just to to drain the liquid and stuff so we'll see how that works um, I'm also learning how to do some vegan stuff for my girl so yeah so um I grabbed a few books for my two nieces. I like to put a little basket for them every Easter. And I found these two and I thought these would be so cute in their basket. One is called Giving Thanks. And this one says Good Deeds and for, it's from the Chicken Soup for the Soul. So I thought they were cute. And the eldest one, uh, she's 12, she's into crafting. So I found this book and I thought she'll like this. It's uh, paper pom-pom. And I mean, you can't go wrong for that price. And if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. And for the younger one, I found this book and it's Puppy Bowl. Uh, and this is from Animal Planet. And it's got all kinds of puppies and cats. It's so cute, this book. And they do have uh, a little puppy, so and she loves her dog. So she's going to love that book. And I have no room in here anymore. Um, I needed some hot pink paper tissue. Nail glue. Boring. I grabbed uh, five, so five or six packages of these uh, spray bottles because I want to experiment making my own alcohol sprays. So we'll see how that turned out. Turns out. Um, same with this. I want to try attempt to make a um, sock bunny for Easter. So I grabbed this color. I got some green sand for fairy gardening and I found these heart picks in their kitchen section and I thought how cute will this be if you have let's say a heart and you put this across like that and it looks like an arrow with a heart in the back um, 
I know Valentine's is almost over, but I can keep these for next year. So I got that. Um, I got this sticker note flags um, to label the different chapters in my Bible because when I'm in church and the pastor says John something, I'm like looking for it, you know, so that will come handy. And they had a new napkin. And um, I wish they had the bigger size, but it's okay. This um, spoke to me. It's so cute. It's got like different backgrounds. And this one, it is so nice. It's like vintage looking with the bike. I love that. Again, I wish they had the bigger size. Also, um, I found some micro beads and flakes in these two colors. So I grabbed it. Sorry, I did not say it was going to be a short video. <laughs> um, the regular school glue, uh, I'm almost out of my texture paste. If you, again, you want to see how I make my texture paste, leave me a comment down below. I'll make a video showing you how I do that. So I just grabbed these two. And um, this store I went to, they had a lot of Aileen's clear tacky glue and I love this stuff. So I grabbed five of those. I was looking for Mod Podge. I can't find it anywhere. Um, I had bought one of these and gifted it. It's the wooden natural wood sticks. So I bought another one. Um, I needed gold metallic acrylic paint. So I grabbed one. And these were new mini thin buckets. And I have an idea for this for my fairy garden. And um, yeah, they have the off white, but I grabbed the silver color. You get two. And then I saw this in the kids toy section and you get 50 different dollar bills. So I thought I can incorporate this in mixed media. I look at things in a different, <laughs> different way now. Um, I got this burlap circles, you get two. And this is the perfect size. I had bought round um, thins, I don't know what you call it. Galvanized, galvanized tins from Dollarama. And these are perfect to fit on top. When I'm changing scenes for my fairy garden, I just like to take it out and dump it and make a new scene without messing up the whole soil and stuff. So got that. Um, few stickers. I, again, I know Valentine's is almost over, but I didn't have, or I was short in these. This one with, sorry about the glare, and this one, and these ones with the little kitties and the puppies, and I got this for a friend, and these are Valentine cards, but I got them for the little buttons. I can use them next year if anything and these treat bags I couldn't he was so cute she's so cute so cute um this sticker <laughs> it's so cute look at the bunnies so cute yeah and I grabbed this for a friend again it is so windy outside I did not have the Alphas uh, stencils, so I grabbed it and sent it many sticker books. And yeah, you get six of them. I didn't do too much stuff for Valentine's this year because I had way too many 
um, doctor's appointments and yeah anyway um i got these just to have in my stash the pink and the red heart table scatter i'm not gonna use it for tables <laughs> and just one more of these foam stickers i was running low i could not believe they had the plastic palette knives and who makes these jot you get three pieces for dollar 25 which is what we pay here in canada but i was even looking on alley and it was not dollar 25 for three so i was so happy i grabbed two of those oops i grabbed some white and black poster boards i love those things and some bubble mailers Oops. um these doilies heart doilies i got some bl blue and red file folders um to do some mini albums this way i don't have to color it but you only get six in these before I went to the States, um, I always loved buying these file folders. Um, you get 10 of them to make my tags, like home, homemade tags, and um, they lowered the amount now. So it used to be 10, now it's 8. Anyway, what can you do? And um, that was it for my Canadian Dollar Tree. And I'll show you the American, as I said, it's not a big haul from US. I had bought um, three cartons of Como milk and uh, the ones that you buy on the shelf. I just wanted to try it. I had never bought milk like that before. And I've made yogurt and it turned out so good. So um, yeah. So I can't show you those. <laughs> I found these nails. So I thought, yeah, in the summer it's cute. They didn't have much of a variety, the store we went to. And I found these. Um, you get two. I had gotten last time when I went to Toledo, one pack of another saying and I love these things. I toss them in my dishwasher, nothing happens. So I grab two more and they come two in a pack. So I was happy to find those. And hold on. I got some fairy garden stuff. I got these fairies. I got the, the deer, the bunny, and I think it's a bird. Looks like a little bird these gnomes they look different from i don't know the ones i bought earlier here in canada uh, they had the fox the porcupine i think i'm not sure i don't know the names of these animals but they look so cute and then the owl, the turtle, and the froggy. So I got those. And I don't know if you can see Peppy's in her box. Nope, she's sleeping in her box. Um, they had these there is a mushroom, a little sign, and a mailbox. Again, these were new to me. And see, these gnomes are different. I found this little gazebo. I don't know why we never got these in Canada. Um, that upsets me, actually. How cute is this? A laundry thing so cute they had this welcome sign they had 
this table and chair set. Look at this, two fairies on a swing. So cute. And they had this house with the pink top. So adorable. They had this yellow um, pine cone shape. It is so cute again. And of course, the strawberry. Um, we cleared up the shelf, me and Tina, but like they didn't have that many anyway. So between her and she got some for her daughter and me, and we got some for Sheila. So we cleared up the shelf. And then lastly, there was a um, ton of new washi, but I just picked up three of them. I got the unicorn one. I got the airplane one because I love anything with airplane travel. And I got this one. So that was it for my dollar, oh my gosh, 21 minutes, for my uh, US and Canadian Dollar Tree haul. If you like this video, please give me thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, stay warm you guys and have an awesome day. Bye.